A new at five, a mother is in the hospital tonight after her home caught on fire. The mother, along with four other people, including children, got out of the Seat Pleasant house as flames spread quickly. Luckily for them, there was an emergency crew nearby and they saw what was going on. Natasha Barrett is on the scene and she's going to tell us how this dramatic escape unfolded. Natasha, tell us the story. Leon, talk about good timing. So the paramedics you just mentioned, they were in an ambulance just down the street there at a stoplight. That's when they saw smoke came rushing up this hill and behind me came up here to the house, the house over there to check on it. And as you can see, not much is left. This two story house on 63rd Street was burning with five people inside. A mother and her baby were stuck upstairs. The front door was blocked by flames. Back in service, get ready to go back to the firehouse, waiting on the next call, and we see smoke. Firefighters say the mom broke out a window while holding her one year old son. Then she jumped out to her backyard. I made sure all the residents backed away. I told I had ordered them to come to the unit, you know, back away, ask for anybody hurt. We, I visibly seen the homeowner with the um, burn on her face. Even more heartbreaking, firefighters say they had to hold the woman back when she tried to run in for her belongings. We just tried to keep them calm, tell them that the fire, the fire uh, department is on the way. Now, as for that mother, she has burns on her face and her hands. She's at the hospital right now with her baby. Her baby, that one year old boy, going to be okay. Three other teenagers were inside that house. They were okay, not taken to the hospital. Firefighters out here in Prince George's County say they think a candle might be to blame on this fire, and they're not sure if this home had a smoke detector or not. Live from Seat Pleasant tonight, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News.